Good work, Mulan. These idiots are so inefficient, they haven't even taken our weapons away, so now let's fight them. I have to take the box. Okay, I've got it. Hurry up, Chang Li. Let's go move it. Damn it! What are you doing? Don't let them get away! Quick, get them! The terrible magician was taken by surprise, as he didn't expect Mulan and Chang Li to react so quickly. He couldn't stop the two youngsters and dear old Chompy that had remained hidden under Mulan's uniform from getting away. Go ahead. What happened next? Did he succeed in catching them? No. This time they managed to reach the cave in which they had sheltered safe and sound from the sandstorm. And once there, Mulan immediately placed the box she'd stolen from the magician on the base that was under the dragon statue. <sighs> that box contains my soul, but I cannot touch it. It can only be opened by a good and courageous person. Like you, Mulan, have you got the key to open it? <laughs> You see, Chompy is really exceptional, and I am definitely sure that that is the right key. Light a small flame. What's uh, happened to my special magic, Mulan? Be quiet, dragon. I think there must be somebody at the entrance to the cave. <sighs> We've been discovered. Hurry up, Mulan. Get on my back. We'll fly away. You block the exit. Don't let anybody pass from here. We'll go and see if they're hiding inside. <gasps> what? Hold on tight and we're away! Yes, wicked Yuzu's guards had found the two youngsters' hiding place. But once again, Mulan and Chang managed to escape just in time, and now they were free. Yes, but poor Chang has some problems. What's up with him? Yeah, why did he have only half his powers? You have to know that the magician Yuzu was the sort of person that didn't trust anybody. And just because of that, when he had imprisoned the dragon's soul, he had decided to put it into two different containers. In one, there was a sufficient quantity of material to awaken the dragon from his sleep, but all poor Chang's warlike powers were kept in another box that Yuzu jealously kept under his pillow. In fact, after escaping from the cave, Chang felt very tired, as if he'd run a million kilometers. The problem was that he couldn't imagine what had happened to his extraordinary powers, and he didn't know how to recover them either. I'm really worn out. As if somebody had beaten me all night. I'm very sorry, Chang. Maybe you only need to eat something. In the meantime, it would be better to think of a way to suppress this rebellion. Well now, let's study the simple facts. All Yuzu's power results from the fact that the dragon he has hired for his mean purposes had succeeded in causing a really serious drought in the region with his terribly powerful flames. to rain for a few hours to reduce his really evil power over the peasants of the countryside. What do you think about that, Chang Li? Wouldn't it be a really great idea? Tell me. Oh, great, yes. I'm glad you agree. I need your help. I'll speak to the rain dragons. I say. Well, if you know where to find them, we could leave immediately. Come on, then. Take me to their castle. Yes, sir. The rain dragons lived in an old castle on top of the clouds. Its walls were very high and the bricks of a deep red colour. Once they had reached their destination, Chang the dragon put Mulan down in front of the castle door where our friend was about to ring.
Wait, Mulan, don't ring yet. Uh, what's the matter with you now? Why have you stopped me? We came here to ask the dragons for help, didn't we? So what's up? You're right, Mulan. But I'm afraid it would be better if two human beings asked for their help, not a human being and a big dragon like me. Why that? And what difference would it make? It would make a great difference, believe me. Do you think it's dignifying for a big dragon like me to ask the help of other dragons that are, if I remember correctly, a lot smaller than me? Have you tried to imagine how I'd look in that situation, my little friend? I understand. It's only a question of dignity then. Well, tell me, what do you propose? Wait a second, Mullen, and you'll see. Okay, that's it. I'm ready now. You can ring the bell. By the way, what are these dragons like? Do they look normal? Are they really ugly and really, really frightening? Don't be afraid. They're not frightening at all. There's nothing to worry about, really. Good day. May I ask what I can do for you? We'd like to speak to the rain dragons, if it's possible, please, sir. I'm very sorry, but the owners of the castle are out, and they won't be back for a few days. You'll have to come back. Oh, no, and now what are we going to do, Mulan? It's very important. Could you tell us where they've gone, please? Then we could quickly catch up with them, couldn't we, Chang Li? Well, I'm not sure I can tell you, but there may be another solution. I'll see whether the Great Mother can receive you, if that's all right with you. Yes, thanks, thanks. That would be very Thank important you. for us. Yes, you'll be doing us a really big favor, believe me. <laughs> yes. Yes. Come in, yes. please. Good morning, morning great, great mother. mother. And a thousand thanks again for receiving us. Good morning to you, young fellows. Being as none of my children are here, it's not convenient for you to remain here. However, my butler has told me that you've got a rather serious problem to solve. Is that right? Yes, Great Mother, that's right. You see, our country has been hit by a terrible drought. And if no rain falls during the next few hours, a real disaster will happen. There's the serious danger that a war will break out. Do you understand? The peasants are at the end of their tethers and somebody is manipulating them. Unfortunately, the eldest of my sons, the Hurricane Dragon, is at the sea in eastern China at a wedding, whilst my youngest son has accompanied his sister to a party. However, being as you seem to be loyal and honest people, I think that I could break the rules for this time at least. Just a minute. <laughs> Here you are. You'll only have to let a single drop fall from this bottle on each cloud and you'll have driving rain, I can assure you. <laughs> <laughs> but be very careful not to get the wrong dose. Never more than a drop at a time or there will be serious trouble. Happy and satisfied, having received the very precious bottle as a gift, our friends left for the territories of China that had been hit by the drought. Naturally, after Chang had turned back into a dragon so that he could carry Mulan on his back and fly away with her. We're going towards new adventures, Chang. It's fantastic. Aren't you happy too? You mean towards new problems? I will take you high in a big green sky. Rain isn't a terrible misfortune! Bravo, Trump.